Yeah, hi. In this video, I would like to show you on how to create a fixed asset using a purchase order. So first, to uh, the procurement process for the fixed asset, usually they create the purchase order. So how to create the purchase order? I'm going to explain here. To create the purchase order, go to the logistics, retail management, purchasing, purchase order, and uh, create ME21N. So double click on it. So here, enter the vendor. So I would like to enter my date zero. Uh, this time I enter zero two zero one twenty twenty. So the purchasing organization will be same as uh, my company code, and also the the company code is also same number. So press enter, gain enter. So here, you can see usually in the material management they enter the material mass data and everything. But here uh, we are going to maintain the asset. So this is a fixed asset. The quantity is one and each. So the delivery date uh, will be same as uh, let's say assume zero three zero one or let's say zero five zero one twenty twenty. And the net price will be thousand five hundred press enter so now it's asking for the plant so plant will be same as uh, 2800 and the material group I'm going to enter is uh, purchasing here so here the purchasing uh, you can see the OP oh, here purchasing so press enter now this is where you will enter the information relating to the asset. So the asset is Chai's 2. Press enter. OK. So here, if the system is asking for the purchase requisition, do you have any the purchase requisition? Currently, no. We don't have any purchase requisition. Press enter all this information. Now click check. Is everything OK? So now click on save. So our purchase order is created. So now if you would like to display the purchase order you have created is click on go to the purchase order, purchase order and then click enter. This is the purchase order we created. So now you see how to print this purchase order. You can see here print preview. So how much quantity is one and the fixed asset 1500 and here you can see and what is the terms of payment for the vendor so you can create um, this is a purchase order so this is a standard SAP so these layouts can be adjusted as per your local requirements or your organization requirements so this is how you can do the purchase order for the fixed asset so it's a simple process thank you